All right, folks, I just found out some very interesting and useful information on this RM250. It's not actually a 250. It's been bored and sleeved 80 over to a 265. So we're dealing with a big bore 265 Suzuki here, uh, which would explain why it, see, it kicks like a mule. <laughs> um, but anyway, I also found out some other really interesting things about the bike. You can see here, I've removed a carburetor to find out why we're overflowing with gas. So, this particular model Suzuki RM250, um, there is a bunch of different models apparently. And on this particular model, the carburetor comes with what they call the power jet, which is electronically controlled solenoid here to add more fuel through this jet sticking out in the carb there, that brass jet, they call it, tube, whatever you want to call it. You can see it opening in there. So yeah, the uh, it plugs in, the solenoid plugs into your CDI, and at certain RPM range, it will actually add fuel for um, you know, more power and better mid-range and top end so the bike runs better. So, uh, not only is that a cool feature, but it's very important when you're ordering parts because this bowl gasket is not the correct one and there's a little piece missing out of it. So, let me get in the light here. So, this is the bowl of the carburetor and if you see down there in the back corner at the tip of my finger, there's a passageway that goes up on the outside to feed that power jet and there's where it would seal and there is no so this gasket should look like the one in the picture and we got to get that gasket it's important so i checked the float height okay so whoa let me back up <laughs> so what was happening is the fuel was leaking out of here running down this passageway onto the overflow hose and dripping out of the bike like it was overflowing but apparently it wasn't overflowing it was just leaking I already checked the float height where it was set and it seems right on um, so jetting wise we'll see we got to get all this uh, corrected and back on the bike get it running and then we'll go from there the jetting is looking like a 38 and a 158 um, from the research, quick research I just did, on these 265s, it can handle a lot more than that. So, we'll just have to play it by ear because it seemed like it was running rich. And according to this, it looks a little lean from, you know, what most people find. And I checked the uh, the idle, idle mixture screws two turns out, so it wasn't like that it was excessive or anything. But anyway, so yeah. We've got a couple things we got to situate. Um, I got this just put back together temporarily. I want to get the right screws for that. Uh, stator, you saw how they backed out of there. Get that done so I can close all this up. Get get this all back on, make sure it's kind of starting and running properly. I'm working on the drain plug situation too. Um, it's got to drain out for a couple days real good. We're going to doctor that thing for now. Anyway. Just a little update on the 2000 Suzuki RM250 slash 265. Big bore, baby. Hey, this thing ought to rip, huh?